Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's April 22nd. I am really looking forward to seeing all of you today for our Zoom meeting. I'll see the whole class from 11 o'clock until 1130. And then math students will be meeting from 1130 till about 1145, all the way up to perhaps noon to um, speak with you and to process our ratio concepts and to build on our understanding. So it'll be amazing to see everybody and thank you very much. Your parents have all the things that they need to successfully log you in. So let's practice. Simple Solutions today. Hope you enjoyed your day off yesterday from Simple Solutions. You're working on lesson 126. From there, in science, you're working on IXL.com. You're working on skill C3. That has to do, again, with changes of state and how heating and cooling affects those changes of state. Today is Wednesday, so that means it would be our typical mass day. Please consider attending the mass at Prince of Peace with Father Smith. That would be a fantastic um, thing to do with your family. You do not have religion assignments today for that purpose. So consider doing that. It's a nice way to spend time together with your family and with God. Continuing forward with reading, you have reading students and ed puzzle activity again. This one is about haiku. So haiku, as you remember, is a form of Japanese poetry. So you're going through Ed Puzzle, listening to the explanations, and then responding to the questions that are integrated within it. You will have a chance at the end to write your own haiku for two or three. So I really look forward to reading those. For that reason, reading students, you do not have a journal topic today. You're simply going to be using your poetry skills and writing a haiku. You do have IXL.com reading students, and you're working on skills EE1, EE2, and EE3. And with those, those are all about context clues and how context clues contribute to word meaning. So lots to practice today, but I think it'll be fun. From there, we have math students continuing with your ratio. We're doing something that I consider to be super fun today. These are ratio tables. So what you'll be doing is think of it like a computer. You input something and then you get an output on the other end. In this case, you're looking for patterns. You're looking for patterns in the left column or you're looking for patterns in the right column and use those to complete the tables. You also have workbook assignments. So you'll be working on pages 129 and 130. And again, our topic continues to be ratios. From there, ELA. You will be working on page number 58, and these are going to be your being verbs. So these are all forms of to be, am, is, are, was, were, as well as be, being, and been. And um, so make sure that you go ahead and look at the description that they have at the top of the page. It's super useful. The directions as well are important to successful completion of page number 58. And also, ELA students, you have IXL.com. You're working on skills 04, 05, and 06. 04 deals with putting things in order from most general to most specific. 05 is having you organize information. And 06 is going to be having you remove unimportant details. And these skills are all there to assist you in becoming even stronger writers. So on the topic of ELA, um, you had a couple of assignments the other day. One was page 56 and one was page 57. Typically, I do an answer video for those. But as you recognize, so much of that is going to be up to you and the verbs that you've chosen to use. So. Um, for um, exercise A on page number 56, you just pretty much had to pay attention to the form of the verb. Are you expected to use present tense or are you expected to use past tense? And then B, you're just going ahead and creating your own sentences. On page 57, 
this action verbs part three. Again, it's simply you deciding which verbs fit best. And that also goes for part B as well. Some of those words, as you can tell, can, um, can be suited for more than one sentence. So again, the directions were clear just to use every one of those ones, but there's a lot of variations in the answers. So that's your exercises in English. So again, super looking forward to seeing everybody. Math students, make sure that you come prepared with something to write with as well as a piece of paper, but I'll see all of you today at 11 o'clock. See you then.